Don't mind us. <laughs> Actually, we, pro <laughs> we probably should see where I'm going because Christine's room, it's locked. So is there somewhere else we're supposed to be going? This is a very detailed site. Oh, thank you. Oh, I mean, oh, you can lose days and days and days on TV Tropes. In fact, I went to TV Tropes to look up the Moon Logic puzzles for inspiration for my ridiculous puzzles list. Let's see if shark jumping is on here. I'm curious. We're diving because I mean, he's just walking up and down the stairs. You guys, we've got, we've got time. Nope. We're not on there yet. I'll make you one. Anyone can make those pages. I'm just gonna make one. No, no, you, uh, you, uh, you're busy. Someone else can do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, someone get on that. Someone update. Someone update mine. Okay, it's out. Of, it's out of date here, people. Let's figure out where we have to go. Okay, so we took the note. Wait, walk through the door north, climb upstairs to the top, and enter the dressing room with the star. Apparently we can go in there. We must have missed something again, because I cannot, oh I cannot get in there. We talked to everybody. Maybe, no, no. Did we take the lantern? Yes. Oh, um, did we take a rope? No, okay. we did not take a rope. All right, let's go downstairs. Okay. We're Are you serious? Rope. We need a rope to do this? Yep. Apparently <sighs> we're gonna hang the phantom. Is that? Well, that looks like a body. It's a column prop. Col column prop. Like this rope? No, no, we gotta go downstairs more. We gotta go downstairs again. Ah. Uh, <laughs> More uh, hemp. But th this is a perfectly f I guess it's kind of a heavy. We don't need like a heavy duty rope, I suppose. Probably more than 10 pounds. Oh, here it is. Okay. And that's why I was like, look at this. These are mannequins, but it looks like a pile of dead bodies. It really does. And look, the mummy's still there. Yep, it is the s it has not changed in a 100 years. I'm pretty sure just... they have never used it for a single production. <laughs> It's just like a prop for the prop room. It's mm -hmm. like, we needed something to spice up the prop room. So we got this mummy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that those bodies, man. What the heck? All right, let's go to, I guess... Let's talk to Christine now. I think we're good. You think the rope trick? That's so I'm strange. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we're fine now. I think that's all we needed. That is some weird... <gasps> oh. oh. That's her singing? You hear Christine singing in the distance. She has returned from her <laughs> errands. The voice is coming from the direction of the dressing room. So that's our cue, uh, I guess. So that was her angelic voice? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're pretty good. <laughs> we should I think we could give Christine Dyer a run for her money. <laughs> the taught me how to sing. See, you're already like miles better than who they have in the game here. Mm. Which I will look in the credits to see who did the voice for Christine. I, I think out. I did for the review, but I don't quite remember now. Do you want me to look it up right now while he's climbing up a million Yeah, why not? Alright. Google is our best friend during long times of journey. Oh, we're at the top of the stairs. Let's find it out. Return of the Phantom voice cast. Hopefully it comes up. Um, Cause like I said, it, it might not actually come up cause it is so obscure. Oh yeah, Moby Games would have it. Are we on Moby Games? Oh, no, my... we're on Phantom Project. It got a B minus. <laughs> it got a B minus? <laughs> well, that's pretty good. I think it's fair. Uh, yeah, I think it's fair. I think it's fair. Oh, this is like a full on synopsis. Who would want to read a full description of this game? Well, we're playing a full. I did a review of this on game. it. So <laughs> no, I meant like just like it was like a giant thing. Oh yeah! Wow, she just never moves. She's just always sitting in that chair. Ooh, let's read this. On closer inspection of Christine Day, you are shocked to see that she is truly a dead ringer for Christine Florent. <gasps> Again, she appears to be in her early twenties, but this time her dark hair is long. You want to drown in those same piercing brown eyes. Ugh, that's creepy sounding. I can't find it. We're just gonna just we're just gonna be enchanted by her beautiful voice. Must we? She doesn't. Did I try to? I, I oops! I tried to take her. <laughs> Can Ooh. we give her give Sorry. her something? Let's give her a note. Oh, no, Here's some rope. No, I just returned from my errands. What good timing you have. Why don't you sit down? She's lying. She was singing with the Phantom just now. She totally she was. She didn't have any errands. She was visiting her dead dad's grave. How long have you known me? I really go down. Why, Raul? We knew each other as children. You know that. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Just last year, here at the opera. 
You've been so kind to me and so supportive of my career. I shall always be grateful to you. Remind me of our exploits as children. Don't you remember? You jumped into the ocean to retrieve a scarf I had dropped. The wind had carried it into the sea. You ran into the water with your clothes on. I was with my father. You remember him, don't you? Yeah, he's Tell the boy with the father. scarf. Very important. Oh, in the, in he was the, a brilliant violinist. He taught me so much about music. But not he as told much the most as the wonderful Phantom. Stories. Yeah. You used to listen to him, too. And How's your career terribly. going? <laughs> Thank you for that sentimental story. Let's talk about oh, careers course. now. Have you heard? Carlotta has a sore throat and will not be going on tonight. I will be singing the lead in the opera. This is my big chance. Soon it will be time for me to practice. Oh, I bet she's going to practice in front of us and she's going to sound like terribleness. <laughs> How was Where it? Where have you been? <laughs> Let's ask her um, about her errands. I think we can ask it in any order. I think as we long can ask in we... any order. So let's just go to the, let's just cut right to dreams. the strange like, dreams. Why? What do you mean? Any dreams about men wearing masks? How? How did you know? Yes, I have frightening dreams. Tell me about your dream. I just want to say this is the third time we've said this exact <laughs> sentence. There is a man with a mask. He sings to me, much like the angel of music. I'm riding a white <gasps> she horse. She is talking about it. The horse. We go to a dark place, and there, well, we make love. <laughs> Why is she so eager to talk about this? She even just really 18, wants to. Even in age, sounds sounds romantic. <laughs> Look at the dot. <laughs> sounds, sounds romantic. Sounds romantic. <laughs> he sounds sincere. He sounds wrong. sincere. You sound jealous. It's just a dream, after all. Do you ever unmask him? I'm too frightened to do so. And the strange thing is that even though I am frightened, there is something comforting about the man. Uh, how, where have you been? <laughs> where yeah, where have, have you been? been? I gotta complete <laughs> it. I went to my father's grave. You know, I visited every day. He was such an inspiration to me. It was he who sent the angel of music to me. Tell me more about the angel of music. He comes to me when I practice. He's my teacher. See, this the whole angel of music thing always bothered me because with anyone with half a brain would instantly know, hey, angels don't just show up and teach you how to sing stuff. Was it maybe different in 1881? Were there more belief? Was there more belief in like the op like ghosts and like the opera? In ghosts the arms of the angel. <laughs> that is not. <laughs> Wait, is that bet he looks like Nicholas Cage. <laughs> I don't expect you to believe me, Raul, but he really is an angel. My father always told me that if he should die, he would send an angel to continue my musical instruction. He kept his word. Like you don't have sex with the angel that teaches you how to sing. Wait, that's in her dreams. You it's do if it's Nicholas Cage. Oh what does no! He look like? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I have never seen him. I only hear him. He sings and speaks to me here in this room. His voice seems to come from the walls themselves. When do you expect him again? Soon. In a few minutes. I must ask you to leave in a moment. He will not come if someone else is here with me. You must understand, Raul. Okay, let's see. Get the frick out of my room! What is she wearing? Like a wedding dress? Oh, uh, oh no. <laughs> Why is she walking out with her arm like that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, oh. I'm obscuring the love scene. Oh, we just missed out their makey outies. Shouldn't I stay with you during your practice? Jealousy. No. No. No one no. can be here then. Now it is about time, so I must ask you to leave. Are you sure you're all right? Why, I was never better. I love you, Raoul. Do not forget. We shall see what happens after the opera. If I'm accepted as a lead, my career could soar. And I would lose Ooh. you forever. This, this is about me. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Oh. Oh. The angel of music is here. I must practice now. Adieu, Raoul. You must leave now. <laughs> Raoul just doesn't want to leave. <laughs> 
<laughs> Where is it? Where is that fire? Jealousy. Oh, from? this. Th there is no way this Please music was not inspired now. from the Phantom of the Opera anymore. musical. Please. Oh, it yeah. sounds like. Da, 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 da. Get okay. out of here. Um, Christine, wait. Go no. away, Rose. <laughs> wait. Leave Pull. Me alone. Pull. Pull. Use the rope. Away, Use the Please. rope on her. I don't. Alone. Oh God. Give her the rope. Pull her back in. Save her! Go away, Raul. She hates Please. it. We are smothering her at this point. <laughs> but we need to. She's making very dumb decisions. So I think... Can we take the Ooh, You are axe? perplexed that Christine would kick you out of the room so abruptly, but then it becomes clear. As the mysterious violin continues, you overhear voices. One is obviously Christine. The other is a strange male with a smooth, almost hypnotic voice. Hey, Let's take you? the axe. Is that you? Are you here? And she sounds like she's in yes, a tunnel. Christine. I am here now. Come to me, my love. Yes, Angel. I am coming. Take me. I am ready. Take me. Ooh, oh, that sounds... That sounds... That sounds... Suggestive. Me always. Oh, wow. Mine. That... Forever. That's smothering. Christine. Open the door. Christine. Look, I like how he's listening at the door. Oh, I like that little effect. Forever, <laughs> yeah. I must get inside. Use oh, the fire axe. Very good, Raul. He's just so. I love his simple, his simple responses. I must get inside. Yeah, he's direct and to the point, except with yes. his walking. There is a phantom ghost. If ever there was an emergency, this is it. Hint. Uh. Oh, how do I? Break you gotta this? take the fire axe. Is he just gonna break it if I say Let's take? Let's break down yeah. the door. Ah! This is the fastest I've ever seen him. He's, he means, and then never, he just never walks. Mind. Never mind. <laughs> he breaks it and then just saunters in. <gasps> She's gone. You are shocked. She's gone. Vanished. What sort of fiend could do this? <gasps> you quickly look around the room. The mirror. Could it be? Take could your time. Could it be? <gasps> Alas, you find nothing that indicates it might be a trick door. You think that this phantom must be very clever indeed. You fear for Christine, yet you feel utterly helpless now. I must slowly walk to a solution! Later that evening. Or quickly. It still looks like a wisdom tooth to me, and I will never Where unsee it now. Be? Doesn't she know she must go on in less than 15 minutes? What could have happened to her? I fear she may be in danger. I hope not. For her sake. For, for our, our sake? sake. <laughs> we didn't have anyone else for that role. Wait, someone's coming. Christine oh. Have returned. Look at this. Looks like she's wearing a leather jacket. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Of course, Monsieur Richard. Bonjour, Raoul. But where have you been? We have all been so worried. The performance is set to begin in ten minutes. I would never let you down, Monsieur. I am a professional. Raoul, I have left for you a complimentary box seat ticket at the box Ooh. office. Please pick it up. Boyfriend benefits. But Adieu. why would he need that? He's a patron. He pro he gets automatic admission whenever he wants. D d give her some credit. She's trying to be nice to us, I think. Why, I'm astounded. I must say it's a good thing we repaired her dressing room door quickly. Did you have to break the door and the axe, Raoul? Well, yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah. Christine's return is a relief, I must say. I should say so. Well, you better pick up your ticket, and I will see you later. Adieu. Okay. All right, let's go get our ticket, and then we get okay. to have some fun in, uh, in the catacombs of the opera. You have the mask now. Oh, damn. Tooth mask. Tooth mask. Wait, I went the wrong way again. <laughs> no. No, but it looks so cute in there. It does. I like it. You it's... notice that there's no artifacts there, because we are back in time. So they yeah. did change some stuff. Um, I guess I'll go pick up my ticket yeah. from the ticket master. I just want Edgar Degas to come back and be like, I'm the Phantom. That would be fucked up. <laughs> like, if the Phantom was Edgar Degas. Uh, let's actually talk to him. Actually, let me look at this, the placard, and see if it says anything different for 1881. The placard reads, Tonight, La Carlotta starring... In the wedding of Isabel, but a sticker has been pasted over the top of the name La Carlotta. The sticker reads Christine Day. Oh yeah, you can like see the st the blatant sticker. <laughs> That's classy. I guess that was kind of the only way to do it though. The ticket Hello. master is in. 
May I help you, monsieur? Oh, he is could not what be less interested in his job. What is this hair? What is this goatee? What? What is this? I love this so much. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's beautiful. He's a beautiful man. I still can't get over the black. I never noticed this, but now that we're playing it on, I have a larger monitor now. Never noticed the blackness of his eyes. It's like from far away, maybe I can get the illusion, oui. but he's seen yes. some shit. He's got this some haunted past. This guy has seen some shit. Look at this guy. Why is his voice sounding in such an echo? It's like they recorded it in the back of a car. They maybe did. <laughs> I mean, we got this is expensive. We gotta save money here. Uh, the envelope reads Raoul de Chani. I I think I'm saying that differently every time. Yeah, it's all good. I'm just gonna so call, did I. I'm just gonna say Chagney because it looks Ch like Chagney. Raoul de Chagney. Chagney. It is written in Christine's hand. We have a ticket. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess maybe I have to open first. Inside the envelope, you find a piece of paper and a ticket. I'm in danger. Please meet me backstage after your performance tonight. I didn't even think to open it. Man, we are in way over our head. Mm -hmm. Like, is this, is she really worth it? No. Like, <laughs> like we're back in time now. The answer and is we, no. We can predict the future. Why don't Correct. we just leave and just be awesome in the past and just predict the future and become wizards? Become wizards? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be weird considering what we're dealing with mm -hmm. right now. I always thought this was like a door, but it's not. It's just like some kind of artwork but it's really really pretty it is very pretty i mean yeah we do have like we know what's going to happen in the future but mm -hmm. why are, oh wait who's that it's just an usher i think i have to give him my ticket oh, i was hoping it was dega again getting ready to flash us while looking oh, for ballerinas what the what Please go through the north door and you'll find your box there what is up with these portraits i, I think that all the ushers are required to have a fro his face kind of looks like a potato. Mm hmm Do you see the potato? He looks really sad about his lot in life. Do you have a ticket, monsieur? Oh, we Wait, to, I thought he I said just... we have to go up yes. to the boxes. Oh, oh. This is for box nine. Oh, sorry. Go sorry, the sir. Door and you'll find your box there. <laughs> My bad. We get to go upstairs. Raul's kind of a simple guy. We can just kind of forget every now and then what we're doing. <laughs> I don't think I need to... I might need to give the ticket. Wait, not the ticket. What do I have? Yeah, the ticket. Yeah, give the ticket to, to, uh... Wow, we have a lot of stuff in here. Okay, Yeah, uh, we do have to give the ticket to her. Okay. Let's show her our note. Be like, what can we do about this? Christine's in danger. I don't think Ge Geary's gonna give I a don't shit, think she, I don't yeah. think she cares. She does not care. She's like, that's not a ticket. Box nine. Oh, Russia it doesn't matter. But I want to go to box five. Quickly! No. <laughs> Run! <laughs> <Over> there. <laughs> you locked it for me before! Do it again! Thank you. That's like a backless dress almost. I enjoy the performance. But Thank she has like you. this weird front bustle thing that like keeps giving her this weird s poof. I love all these uh, statue heads. I do too. They're yeah, really you awesome. can look at them. Um, I what guess seat we do can. We want? I have. I. You know what? Uh, this one. The... Okay, cool. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it. I don't think it matters. I actually didn't know you can choose your seat. Can we watch the whole show? No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but we are seeing a scene, though, right? We are gonna see a scene. It, it might. It might be the same scene from the intro. Like, remember the girl, and you're like, if, is it FMV? It might be that scene again. But why would it be? Because that was Don Juan. Uh, because nobody thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's see. Oh, it is different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Why is he ruining the performance? She was the lead. That's what he wanted. Okay, but that looked sick. That looked awesome. Did look like really that, good. That looked. That was a good transition. I gotta give props. Well, the house has been cleared. The scenery has been struck. We can investigate this more thoroughly without a panic-stricken audience on our hands. <laughs> All right. Which is there something? No refunds. Okay, so just everything, I think. Yeah, we just yeah. gotta ask him, like, ha what have we found? Yeah. What do we do next? Because we got to go into the catacombs. Yes, it was no magic trick. I wonder what Jacques. Oh, that's how you spell Jacques. <laughs> I was close-ish. You were, you were, you were there. I was there. I was in the. I was in the area. What should I do now, Monsieur Richard? I just told you, go I talk to Jacques. <laughs> life, that monster is capable of anything. We must find her. I shall go deal with the police at the station. Search for her, Raoul. She 
loves you. See what you can find. <laughs> Remember, if you need incentive, she loves you. Because if she didn't love us, we don't give a shit about that what kinda, happens. That kind of sounded like a guilt trip. Mm -hmm. At least that's how I perceived it. Yeah. Um, oh shit, I haven't saved my game. I gotta save my game. Oh, save game not named. Perfect. Now we're going to name it. Name it Christine's in Trouble. <laughs> how long do these go anyway? Oh wow. That's a pretty long file name. I'm I, the props. Yeah, that's good. Props, you know. Got plenty of room. All right, so we're just going to. We're gonna. We gotta go. Oh. We gotta go right until the trap room. I remember this. This is actually kind of tragic. You may want to brace yourself. <gasps> is someone gonna die? Oh, it. it <gasps> Let me guess. The is Jack gonna? <gasps> Not Jack. But there. Yeah. At least there are. Some. <gasps> you are too late. Here he goes. What's? Oh. oh, he's stripping down. Oh, <laughs> oh God, that's so worth it. Why did he take off his jacket first? I don't, I guess he was like going crazy and like, <laughs> oh man. And now you get to do this whole thing again. No, I don't because I saved. Oh, yeah. Right.